oke okay, video kali ini aku akan mem, uh, bukan membagikan ini lebih ke uh, bermain santai aja Master League melanjutkan yang sebelumnya petualangan dari coach Indra Safi ntar aku cek dulu untuk negosiasi Oke okay, Perkins pemain muda 18 tahun kita coba naikkan untuk pilnya berapa kita cari yang cocok enggak apa enggak komplit rasanya kalau coach Indra Safri enggak membawa pemain kesayangannya di tim nasional kita akan coba membawa beberapa pemain Indonesia ke Leicester City eh Leicester City Leeds sorry goblok Oke, pertama kita membutuhkan pemain. Waduh, mantap! Titan Sulaiman, bro, join ke New York. Red Bulls, gila, gila, gila! Elkan Bakot masih free. Pratama Arhan, Tokyo Verdi. Oke, di Wangka masih free. Oke, Marcelino Ferdinand coba kita tawar, kita naikkan. Cool bonus kita beri 180. Semoga mau dia untuk back. Oke, Mar Marcelino dulu. Kita akan melawan Wolverhampton. Formasi dulu. Untuk formasinya sama seperti kemarin. Oke, seperti ini aja. Kita langsung kick off dan saksikan bersama petualangan Coach Indra Safri di match ketiga kalau nggak salah. Oke, kita langsung ke gameplaynya. Let's go. Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. We are in the port city of Porto and this unmistakably the Estadio do Dragao. Blue, certainly the colour. As you can see, we've already started here. Jim see making a difference here well this guy Adama Traore is very easy on the eye Peter he's been described by many a manager as unplayable when he's on song there's a real confidence about him now and he always fancies himself when up against the marker just loves to engage a fullback and hit that byline Here's a goal! okay Leads 
positives than negatives and I think from their viewpoint they can improve now with, with every game. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And Ketia. The ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Killed them. Brad. They are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Kalajic plays a clever pass. Goal kick. No. No, I stand corrected. It's a corner. Massive leap! He's a good enough try. Ferrari certainly could have and should have made more of that. Ruben Neves. Kalajic. He's got options out wide. Adama Traore. The towering header! Just couldn't turn it in. Leeds can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. is charging up on the overlap. Final action of the first half. Off they go in that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Leeds head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. Ready up and running for the second half. Leeds carrying a one goal lead. Nick Morley drives it forward. What a ball this has turned out to be. Oh, oh Red, he sorted that out. Hoists it forward. And it's gone through. Here it comes. Kalajic. <laughs> tries to clear. Wolverhampton showing a little more urgency now. And to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Gets away from his opponent. Brown. Raul. McKenney. Good ball, it's found its target. Okay. He has done it. And surely that clinches it. There really is no way back now. Look at that, that's how you play it. Okay? It's great and decisive. You was going to finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning game. 
here comes the substitution. Well, to wait until now to make this change seems a bit baffling. He's expecting the miraculous to turn this around from here. Leeds get themselves a two-goal cushion. Wolverhampton have up any sort of inroad despite all this possession. Pedro Neto gets it back. That'll be a throw. Wolverhampton making consecutive changes here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Mark Rocker. Uketia. Adams. Got options in the box if he gets his head up. And the shot! And with that, the final whistle. Leeds did it. Terrific team effort to satisfy both the boss and the fans. So Jim Ham Pertandingan yang cukup mudah bagi Coach Indra Safri yang dicetak dua gol oleh striker uh, Anyar. Striker dari Arsenal bacanya gimana ya nanti ya atau gimana lah pokoknya itulah oke untuk skor saat ini Leeds United Manchester United menang Aston Villa menang Crystal Palace menang meyakinkan Arsenal 4-0 sangat meyakinkan Liverpool Tottenham menang Chelsea Bro sama aja di game sama di realita Oke, okay, kita cek dulu untuk perolehan poinnya. Chelsea masih belum menang. Kalah tiga kali, bro. Oke. Okay. Next jadwal kita akan berhadapan dengan Newcastle United di Stadion James Park. Oke okay, kita tengok dulu untuk negosiasinya. Oke okay, Marcelino mau untuk salari 70. Oke okay, kita save dulu. Marcelino ini lebih dominan ke gandang serang, ball player. Ini coba kita Oke. Perkins ini kita naikkan Oke, tambah 29.000 eh 29 rupiah. Enggak rupiah ding euro. Oke. Kita next saja. Pertandingan selanjutnya melawan Newcastle United di Stadion James Park. Pressure man for Leeds United, oke. Okay. Coach Indra Safri ditekar untuk lebih memaksimalkan lagi agar Leeds United dapat bersaing di Premier League. Oke, kita langsung ke formasinya. Panford tidak bisa main karena kurang fit. Miller kita naikkan Oke tiba ayo Oke seperti ini aja 
kita langsung ke kick off untuk pertandingan selanjutnya Newcastle United melawan Leeds United akankah coach Indra Safri dapat memetik 3 poin lagi di kandang lawan kita saksikan bersama bro langsung ke in game nya aja Good day to you. You join us on the, a pretty wet afternoon here. The clouds have opened and it is uh, raining, a little bit wet and miserable. But that ought not to put us off. We are all indeed itching to go. Last few uh, final checks and formalities are being gone through now. There is a very good crowd in, a boisterous crowd too, smashing atmosphere. And on a day like this in this part of the world, there is nowhere you would rather be with or without rain. We have terrific scenes in front of us at the Estadio Portugal, one of the biggest venues in Portugal. As you can see, we've already started here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Well, this fella, Sven Botman, is someone who's had an interesting career, Peter. Uh, he received his... Uh, looks a foul. Yeah, referee's given it. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. Obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? And he's going to Rex. for ideas and, and lacking in talent which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence Leeds head to the dressing room not yet having broken through tight cagey game not achieved any further forward than they were when they started out so we're just settling back into this second half Leeds pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half time they've been lacklustre and, and second best has a hit Just lacked a decent finish. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot. And it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. Botman. If 
you did take an extended half-time break, you'll be relieved to hear that you have missed nothing. And it's played forward, and he's made sure that that won't get through. McKenney. We sit high. That's inches away from being a really good ball. Shouting for a corner, but the referee says goal kick. Adams is going after it. It's wrestled off the ball. And here's Wilson. That's Almiron. That's Almiron. What's he giving here? No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. He's gone for it! by brilliance. Great leap! Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. There's going to be another change here. Adams is the guilty party there. Willock. Trippier. Willock puts it into the middle. Sean Linton. Listen, it may well finish this way because it's been so tight all the way through, but equally, we might still get a moment of magic, a mistake or a refereeing decision to influence otherwise. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Yeah. He gets past his man! No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Adams to get on the end of this. Shad can get it clear. So time is nearly up. One final twist, perhaps. And they can break here. So that's it. It is all over. And it looked real nil from a fair way out. A little craft or guile or penetration. Hasil yang sangat kurang kurang memuaskan untuk pertandingan kali ini. Laga tandang. Melawan Newcastle berbagi angka satu-satu bro. Kita lihat Chelsea will menang telak 4-2 atas Manchester United. City menang tipis, Arsenal menang meyakinkan 2-0. Liverpool menang tipis. Oke, salah klasemen sementara. Chelsea naik ke posisi 16. Oke untuk pertandingan selanjutnya melawan Everton dan akan dimainkan di kandang Elan Road. Kita lanjut untuk pertandingan selanjutnya di next video aja biar durasi nggak terlalu lama. Terima kasih yang udah nonton untuk ya sekedar hiburan aja. Next update mungkin aku akan membagikan kits untuk uh, apa musim baru. musim selanjutnya 2023 oke terima kasih yang sudah nonton sampai jumpa di next video